Loop Deck sent me a Loop Deck. It's uh, it's one of these things. It is physical analog controls for Adobe Lightroom. And it's pretty amazing. If you like this kind of physical manifestation of virtual controls, if you'd rather touch something real to do your pho photography calling and editing and stuff, then I really like it. Now this is the second item like this. We had an item from a different manufacturer that we had, but it didn't really take off. It felt clumsy. The buttons weren't labeled. But this one is uh, pretty cool. It's only specifically for Lightroom, and so far it's not really repurposed for any other app, so it's just going to do Lightroom and that's it. But it seems to work really well. So, for example, I have... This is Lightroom from our previous live show. So these are not my pictures. These are our viewer pictures. But you can see I can just scroll through using the sort of equivalent of the cursor buttons here. This is actually exactly like using a keyboard. <laughs> but just for convenience, you can hit zoom to zoom right in. Um, the way I have it set up is I can hit C2 to jump from the library to the develop module. I wish they kind of had like physical buttons that represented library develop. Maybe for the future they could do that. But now I'm in the develop module. You have to do all your editing with this in the develop module. These buttons and dials currently don't work in the library module. If you're used to using that little quick develop panel, you'll have to resort back to the keyboard and mouse to do that. Um, so you can do, for example, this rotate crop button here. I can just twist this and it will allow me to just kind of quickly straighten the picture. You know, one complaint I have about that is it's in full degree increments, which might not be quite as perfect as I would hope. I wish it could just be a little bit smoother. And then it's, it's pretty obvious how this works. For example, this contrast dial here will allow me to dial up or dial down the contrast. And that seems really smooth, though it does it in e even integers. I could up the clarity just really quickly, change the exposure. It's exactly like you're twisting those dials, but you're not having to use a mouse. It gets the same job done. And I wish I could tell you, oh, this shaved an hour off my editing time after a shoot. I can't say that it makes my workflow any faster. But I like using it. I'd rather use a keyboard and mouse as little as possible. And if you're somebody who's dealing with something like repetitive stress syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome, well, it's not necessarily going to cure it. But I, I do believe that having some variation in the ways that you interact with your computer can help minimize that. It just means that your hand won't be in exactly the same position for a little bit longer. I'm not suggesting it's some sort of medical solution, but when I was using it, that's one of the things that appealed to me is now I, I can do motions that are a little bit different. So you can see basically all the same controls that you're familiar with, the whites and the blacks are going to be here. And you can even star things, switch it to black and white. You can basically hit Control F in Lightroom to switch over to full screen. There's undo and redo buttons over here. There's a brush button, but you know, once you hit the brush button, you'd have to switch to a mouse anyway. So it doesn't replace every single feature in Lightroom. Notably, it does have dials for every single color here. So for example, if I looked at this picture and I was like, oh, I hate all these fall colors in the trees. <laughs> I could just hit the saturation mode here and then drop the colors that I didn't like, like the warm colors, and drop their saturations down really low. And they're multi-function too, like as I'm rolling this down, if I want to reset it, I can just hit the button here. There's a button for before and after, and exporting copying and pasting, marking things as pick. That's something we do all the time. Those buttons can also be customized. So it comes with this special loop deck app here. For example, right now the C1 dial controls the vignetting, but I don't really ever dial in vignetting. So what I do is dehaze all the time. So I can set that to dehaze real quickly and go back and then just jump in here. And now when I do this, you can see it's dialing in dehaze. I hate how dehaze is at the bottom of the panel. I wish it were at the top. The build quality on it is good. It just feels good. It's plastic, but it feels good. It has a nice weight to it. Uh, one thing that I really wish it had was the equivalent of a keyboard stand. You can see this little keyboard here has a little stand that just 
tilts it up nicely. And this is just flat on the bottom. So if we could have a little kickstand in there, but at the same time, I think for my desk, I'm gonna end up getting a separate keyboard tray for it just because it's okay as I'm standing over it now, but if I'm sitting at my desk, I'd rather it even be at like a 45 degree angle just because it would be easier to use. Cost, it's 300 bucks right now with free shipping. So I know a lot of you are gonna be like, no, I, there's no way I can justify that, especially if it's not going to substantially reduce the time I spend editing pictures. It doesn't necessarily do that, but it does make it more enjoyable and I do like it. And for some of you, I know you're gonna say, oh, that's okay, I have the budget for that. I like working in the analog world over working with mice and keyboards and stuff like that. So knock yourself out, give the loop deck a try. If you have any follow-up questions, write me a comment down below. Subscribe for more stuff and check out our Lightroom book at sdp.io slash store or Amazon, just search Tony Northup and you'll find lots of information about our book, which will teach you everything about Lightroom. Thanks, bye.